Hi, one forum news brings you the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Your comments and your likes will be highly appreciated. Yes, today let's take a look at something that is happening in Africa these days when it comes to governance system in Africa that I will call the constitutional coup. Why am I calling the constitutional coup? But these people who are changing the constitution are elected by the people, the citizens of those countries. But at the end, if their tenure is over, all that they have to do is to contact parliament for them to change the constitution to extend their terms in office. Yes, it's happening. It's favoring some people now. They're happy about it. But in the long term, it's not going to help Africa. When it comes to democracy, there should be limit to everything. You have your term, the other person will also have his or her term. But there is no need for us to be massaging the constitution under the pretense of just amending the constitution for us to stay in power for so long. And this is something that is happening that a lot of leaders in Africa are not taking note of. They are taking note of the coup that we all know, the one that we all know, we all condemn, yes. That is something that everyone condemned with every high degree of certainty, yes. But this very one is also not so good for Africa because what is happening is most of the leaders are using this at the detriment of their people. You know, all that thing you have to do is maybe if your tenure is about to end, you make one thing or the other, you change certain things in the constitution for the constitution to back you for it to stay in power for long. There are a lot of countries doing that in Africa now and it's spreading all over. You know, it's as if sometimes things like this, when they meet at the ECOWAS level or at the AU level, they discuss it and they learn from one another because that is what some of us are seeing. Though some are also striving and working so hard for the democracy of their country, we need to talk about this also. We need to bring this very issue to the front burner for us to discuss. Why am I saying so? Today, it may not be so good for someone or it may be good for someone, but tomorrow it will not be good for the other person. That is why a lot of uprisings are happening all over the place. That's why there is a need for the international organizations to have a say in things like that. Though they also have their problems here and there, and they are facing one issue or the other, they need to look through and see once they introduce a democracy that they are practicing to us, they should let us know that once you enshrine in your constitution that this is a tenure of the president in most countries in Africa is four terms, that's four years for two terms. And some others also practice the five year terms here and there. Yeah, you know, some people also change their own here and there. That is happening in Africa. But we need to do things well so that we will not create problem for the citizens of Africa. You know, power is transient. One person cannot rule his, his or her people for so long. Once you step in and you are able to do your first term, the second term, if you get favor from people, they are able to give you a second term. You just have to back off and, and, and move away and take the back seat. But most of them are not happening because of the governance structure and the system and the things that some of the government or the leaders do. They enjoy power and power is very sweet to them to the point that they don't even want to leave office. But that shouldn't be the case because that is working to the detriment of the citizens of those countries. I'm talking about the South, the East, the North and the West of Africa. The whole of Africa, I'm not talking about any specific country, but the whole of Africa. Those countries that are involved, they know themselves. And those that are even planning to do that, they know themselves. As we are condemning coups all over Africa, we need to condemn this one also, because this is also causing a lot of uprising agitations among the people, the citizens of those countries. That is why we'll make it a point to bring to the front banner so that people can bring their issues about it. Is this something that is so palatable to you? If yes, you can comment at the comment section that is yes. If it's not so good for you, you can bring your view because we all need to work on the politics of Africa. Today, you may say that it doesn't concern you, but tomorrow is going to concern you and your people. That's why there is a need for us to have a voice. Now we have the voice. We need to articulate our voice to the hearing of our leaders. That is why there is a need for you to pass your comment or you like or you say something about this whole thing. Is this something that we should encourage or we should, we should let the, the people in government or those in power to be able to work on this so that this doesn't happen? My stance is there is no need for those things to be happening. That is why some of us, if some people, some political parties are using, oh, we change the constitution, we change the constitution as a company to some of us get shivers that, hey, are you coming to change certain things in order to favor you to stay in power forever? That is the question we ask. Though, you know, some of the constitutions are so archaic, there is a need for certain things to be changed. Because even some of them also, they give too much power to the executive. I'm talking about the president. 
most of the constitution of Africa, that's what they do. Because when you look at the constitutions of Africa, most of them, they are based on the past monarchs or past histories of some other countries. Some of them also, they emanate from military groups here. Because when it comes to the whole of Africa, there were one military interventions here and there. So most of them, they were created in order to galvanize and to protect the powers of those military leaders then before they move to the democracy with the new constitutions and those countries. So there is a need for amendment or review, constitutional reviews needed to be done. By this tenure, then you'll be in office and at the end of your tenure, you decide to change the constitution a bit in order to suit your taste and for you to extend your power and the number of years in office. It's something that we all need to talk about and condemn because it's not going to help us. It's going to breed some bad issue for Africa one day. That is why the leaders, the leaders of records, the leaders of AU, and the whole of Africa, those that are very instrumental, those organizations, that are the NGOs here and there, you need to start talking about this. You need to bring this to the front burner so that these things can stop for successful democracy in Africa. We are from democracy. And we want democracy to spread all over Africa because that's the best and try and test it there for Africa to use also. Wish Africa the best when it comes to their democracy and their politics and wish all the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel when it comes to politics of Africa and historical antecedents, when it comes to crime and security, we are here to give you the best of analysis and bring you our views on issues about Africa. Your comments and your likes will be highly appreciated. Kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News. Thank you so much.